I think so too. Shall we move on up and see what Julene has in the kitchen? Let's go. Start with seventh year here. Oh, seventh. Yeah, I guess it. Well, oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. Right, just doing it all over again. It's just. It's just amazing to be a part of. Jolene, how many years have you been with me? Well, and, but, well it's been since, at least six. Since you got here. But even absolutely. before that. A little bit before that, I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh, where does the time go? I don't know. <laughs> I just keep cooking. Especially, I just keep cooking. <laughs> I just keep doing my thing. And we love you for it. Oh, my goodness. So it's all things Cinco yeah, de Mayo. Yeah, a little bit of it. A little bit of inspiration for some, yeah. maybe change up some regular dishes. Right. So we've got, we're thinking pasta with some enchilada flavors. Yeah. You know, so I'm we're, down we're not, for that. We're not yes. holding mm -hmm. enchiladas and putting them in a pan. So, so we just got um, some Mexican flavors and some pasta. So okay. uh, we've browned some ground beef with a little bit of uh, chili powder and cumin. All right. And then we're going to mix together our enchilada sauce. Um, and you know, it's just red enchilada sauce. It's mild. You know, you can you can get it spicier. Okay. If you want it spicier, have a more kick. that's right. Um, about a cup of black beans. So those have been those have been drained. Black beans. Okay. And then some corn. This could either be frozen or canned. I used the Mexican uh, blend. Yeah. So it's got a little bit goes of chilies with it, in there. Of course. Right? So we have that. Randy, how well. are you on Mexican flavors? Do you, you like, like it? all of that it's stuff not, incorporated? Not too spicy. Not too spicy? Uh, yeah, not too spicy. Okay, that's right. right. So not a little more spicy. mild. Willing to learn. Okay, now now these are uh, mild oh, green, green chilies. chilies. Yes. And, and if you just taste one, it might taste spicy, but once you put it into the into the sauce, you're not going to notice much okay, spice at perfect. all. Okay, um, perfect. And then some cheese. We have cheese. got a couple of cheese. I feel like this is one of those dishes you always forget about. I'm like, you have the hamburger. <laughs> you, you have, have the hamburger. This. Just throw it all together. You have all the stuff in your pantry. Right. And then we're going to add the boiled noodles. This is just a campanelle. It's just a little twirly little noodle that I thought would be nice in okay. here. Okay. You could use a little anything. different. So we're going to add that in. Okay. I always love dishes, Randy, that heat up well, that I can take for <laughs> yes, lunch the next absolutely. day, yes. and that are hearty and filling, so you're not left hungry. I know. A little bit of sour cream, too. You could also use Ooh, Greek yeah. yogurt if you wanted oh, to. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. So we've got all this mixed in, and we've put just a little bit of cream cheese in with the, with the ground beef. Oh, and interesting. And we're just going to add this together. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I always I know, feel you like say every time. It's just so easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, I love. I always. I say this every time. If you watch Jolene and I, you probably think Amber, you're a broken record. But it's Randy. I think if we're in the kitchen, you right. just want something that is simple to put together. That's not going to take a lot of work. For a week and it still tastes dinner, good. A weeknight dinner, something that the kids would probably like too. So right. I just thought this was just if it hit all those hit all, checked all those boxes. Yeah, checked yeah. all those boxes. Checked for all sure. those boxes. Oh, simple, that's simple, great. simple, and simple. leftovers you can just what heat it back heat up. Heat it back up. Yes. So a little little more cheese on top and you know you could put this in the oven until the cheese melts, but you could also just put Ooh. the lid on it and right. let it simmer away. You can do you like cilantro? I I do. Randy, Randy? do you like cilantro? Uh, no? I'm learning it. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, we okay. have a dish. Let me ready. know what you think. Oh, this is nice and warm. Tell me what you I think know. about it. Cilantro, I feel like, is one of those. Anessa hates it. I and know. I think you've got I the know. taste buds. Right. Either you love it or you hate it. No, I love it. You're talking about close up shots, not wild. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, a, it's a surprisingly hearty pasta because you know, you've got the beans and the corn. It and is, the pasta right. and the ground I'm beef. Surprised. It's very right. I know, right? Mm -hmm. It just constantly, you always give me dinner night ideas because <laughs> how often, you guys, do we get mm -hmm. stuck? in these ruts, right? So we're thinking, Me I've too. made this, I've made that. What over else and over. can I do? Right. So something that you can pull up from your pantry and mm -hmm. put together that's a little bit different. I think so, too. Okay, yeah. Jolene, thank you so much mm -hmm. for this dish. You're coming up with a quinoa a dish, quinoa correct? Bowl. Yes, Ooh. again with some Mexican flavors. Okay, where can we find you? Let's plug you a little bit. <laughs> where can we find you and follow you on social media, too? Oh, you can you can find me at Eat, Drink, Indy on social media. You can find me on Facebook, yes. at the Signature Table, all sorts of places. <laughs> she is doing everything. A woman of many talents there, Randy. Busy, oh, busy. Sure. Delicious. Oh, I'm so glad. It Yay. really, really is. And there's yeah. nothing blocking your, your view <laughs> nope. yet today. Nope. Randy, nope. maybe mm. in your face. No, that's not over here. Right <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Home ec teacher I never had. Aww. She's great. <laughs> That's such a good job teaching. It looks delicious, Jolene. Thank you so much. Thank well, you.